In this video, we want to solve this nice Ramanujan equation. Basically, we are looking for positive integers. We are looking for integers, positive integers that satisfy these set of two equations. Okay, so let's start our solution. Okay, let me call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 then what I am going to do here is I am subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 then we will have the following since I am subtracting 1 from 2 therefore I will have m plus square root of n minus this guy square root of m minus n equal to 11 minus 7 is equal to 4 right now let me write m as it is then let me pair m with minus m and let me write these two guys as it is square root of n minus square root of m and the right hand side is equal to 4 okay now in the next step uh, i want to write m as square root of m square and n as square root of n whole square because square root of m is m, uh, these guys will cancel and we will get um, these uh, back this uh, term so that's we can do that and similarly if you look at it we have m and then n uh, therefore i can take out minus common and in that case i will have square root of m minus square root of n and on the right hand side i have 4 as it is fine now let me remind you this formula a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b let's use this formula here so we have this guy a is this guy and b is this guy so we have the difference of these two numbers and the sum of these two guys by using that formula and then I have this guy as it is square root of m minus square root of n and the right hand side was 4 as it is perfect now if you look at here we have this guy common so let's pull that out so we have square root of m minus square root of n times the rest of the thing so we have left over here square root of m plus square root of n and then we have minus 1 here and the right hand side is 4 okay now if you look at here what are the factors of one uh, factors of 4 are 1 2 and 4 these are the three factors of 4 we are looking for um, uh, we have this product and the product gives us 4 therefore it is um, the only possibilities are the following the first guy square root of m minus square root of n is either 1 or 2 or 4 because uh, we are working in natural numbers so we, uh, we are working in integers the product of two integers is 4 it means that one of them is either 1 2 or 4 right then what are the possibilities for the second one square root of m plus square root of n minus 1 is equal to if one of them is 1 then, then the other one should be 4 so that the product of 1 and 4 is 4 we should have a product 4 and if the first one is 2 then the second one must also be 2 so that the product is 4 and similarly if the first one is 4 then the second one should be 1 so that the product is 4 so we have these uh, these possibilities okay and we want to find m and n that satisfies these equations so what if we add these equations together then we can get rid of the n's on the left hand side i will have 2 square root of m right minus 1 these guys will cancel each other and on the right hand side what are the possibilities remember we are adding so 4 plus 1 is 5 or 2 plus 2 is 4 or uh, 4 plus 1 is 5 which is already covered so 
so 2 square root of m minus 1 has these possibilities and let's add 1 on both sides so let's add 1 on both sides then we will have 2 square root of m equal to 5 plus 1 is either 6 or uh, 4 plus uh, 1 is 5 right these are the possibilities let's divide by 2 then we have these possibilities we will have square root of m equal to 6 divided by uh, 2 is 3 but uh, here we have 5 divided by 2 which is not an integer so we have to rule out this case so it means that we have this case uh, uh, for m we have only one possibility in integers uh, okay so it means that m is equal to Nine. m is equal to 9 is the only solution of um, uh, this is the only value possible value for m but if you look at uh, the given equations we have these given equations if you plug in m then what do we get from equation 1 m square root of m was 3 m was 9 so square root of m is 3 plus n equal to 7 so from here we can get n is equal to 4 so this system of equation has um, these pair of integer solutions m and n equal to m was equal to 3 and n was equal to 4 and let's see if it's uh, and this pair satisfies these equations or not we have square root of uh, sorry m was 9 My bad so square root of m is 3 so we will get 3 here plus n is 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7 it satisfies this equation and m is 9 plus uh, square root of um, 4 is 2 9 plus 2 is 11 so this is the correct solution of this Ramanujan equation